guys, so I have a haul for you. I have decided recently to do a bunch of clothing hauls. I love clothes. We all love clothes, I think, to some certain extent. Uh, whether or not we're super fashionable or we're not, we need them. Clothes, you know? So, <laughs> um, I know for me personally, I don't like spending a ton of money on clothing. I always feel guilty when I spend too much money, honestly. And then I have second thoughts on everything I buy, and I'm like, is it really worth what I just paid for it? And I have all this, like, guilt. Well... Who has time for that? Like nobody has time for buyer's remorse. So today is Black Friday and uh, there's a huge sale going over on Zaffle's website which I'm going to link below along with everything that I'm going to show you guys right now. All the clothes that I got from them, they did send them to me for free. Just a little disclaimer, they reached out and wanted to see if I want to do a little shopping on them and then I would show you guys the clothes. These are, however, my honest opinions about the clothes. You guys know, like, it doesn't matter if I get th something free or not. I'm going to tell you the truth about it. So, uh, I have a whole bunch of clothes to show you guys and I'm just going to jump in because this stuff is hella cheap. Uh, yeah, not hella cheap, hella exp inexpensive, which is a difference. That is actually kind of a pet peeve of mine. Calling something cheap and calling something inexpensive, two very different things. These clothes are inexpensive. So I will just get into what I bought for you guys here. Um, and let me, I'm also going to tell you the sizes. Like, I'll tell you the sizes and what my actual sizes are. So I'm going to start with this shirt here. This is arguably my favorite shirt that I got from Zaffel. Uh, this shirt is... So good. I love anything mix and match. So this is a gray and blue plaid shirt and I just love it. I love the asymmetrical kind of hem thingy. Like the point in the front. Oh, let me tell you why I love this. First of all, the little pockets, they're super cute. And I love this shirt because my thighs rub together when I walk. So the little point covers like that part in my legs. You know what I mean? Ha! Huh, okay, so <laughs> I really like it and then I can walk and yeah, I don't have to like worry about my legs looking like they're rubbing together, it just like hides it. So I don't know if you guys have that problem. I'm plus size, so you know <laughs> how we do. Um, yeah, I normally wear a size large, extra large. I wear a US size 12 or 14. This shirt is in a 3X. It is a little on the larger side, but keep in mind you always have to size up with Zaffle. Everything that I bought here is sized up. Um, some of them I sized up a little bit too much. Uh, this one I could have probably gone for a 2X, um, but yeah, it, I still love it. It's super baggy and I love it. Um, I love oversized clothing. That's my jam, you guys. So uh, let me move on. So this next shirt I have to show you is this black one. It is a black chiffon shirt and it has a lacing up the the side of the arm and it's kind of got like that bell bottom kind of flowy arm as you see here. It's super pretty. Um, this I also got in a 3XL. I could have sized down maybe even two sizes. Like I probably could have just gone for like a one X. Um, this shirt is way too big for me. So you'll see here what I did is um, I tied a knot in the front. I'm showing a little bit of skin which I'm a little uncomfortable with. I'm not a big fan of that. I never have been even when I was like super skinny. Um, it just wasn't my style. Like, it wasn't in when I was a teenager and usually how your style is when you're teenage years and the early 20s. That's what kind of sticks as far as uh, tastes go. But anyway, um, I, I, I made the shirt work and I paired it with like a white chiffon shirt underneath it so it looked really cute when I had worn this out, not in the clip you're seeing, but um, it looks really cute um, as a really oversized shirt. If you just button it up and wear it that way, it just looks way too big and um, it, it doesn't look flattering, but if you type the bottom, I thought it was really so the next shirt that you're going to see here is in a size 2X. Now. If you guys know me, I'm obsessed with polka dots. I have so many polka dot uh, pieces in my wardrobe, a lot of polka dot shirts. So I saw this one and thought it was super cute. I love like the little ruching detail at the neck and then these sheer kind of polka dot arms. The only problem is, is that even though this shirt was, what was it, what did I say, 2X? This was a 2X. I have big arms and it was a little bit tight on my bicep, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am in the middle of exercising and such so maybe in a few months <laughs> this shirt will fit me a little bit better on the arms but right now the shirt fit great I thought it was really flattering but in the arms it was a little tight so if you're like me and you have kind of um, bigger arms then you might want to size up 
like I said, I'm a normal size extra large around, you know, large depending on where you go. And I got a 2X and this was a little tighter on the arm. So I probably could have opted for a 3X. Really cute chart though. Really, really cute. I love the way it's like, well, sheer and chiffani. Um, Ooh, since we're talking about polka dots, I have to show you guys shir this shirt. I love, 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 love this shirt. I got this shirt in a 4X way too big. I should have gone for like a 2X. Um, it was really cute. I love the collar. I love the um, layered look. And this way you don't have to wear two shirts. You can just wear one shirt. It's kind of like a gray sweater. And then it's got the black and white polka dot collar. And then it's got the black and white um, shirt underneath. Super cute. I love it. I wore this to work. I got a ton of compliments on it. Um, again, I could have sized down in that shirt. Um, I was very hesitant with the sizes because I didn't want to get anything that was too small. Like the first polka dot shirt, the arms were a little small. This one, this was just too big, but it's so workable. You know, it makes you look a little bit bigger because of the cut of the shirt because it's so wide, but as long as you don't care about that, I don't care about that. I paired this with jeans when I wore it. I thought it was really, really adorable, and you could do like black leggings. I mean, it looks, it's super cute. I love it. I thought okay, it was So this next shirt was kind of out of my comfort zone, but I saw it and I thought, Hell, I'm just gonna go for it. I got it in a size 3X. It's this cutout shirt. It's very, it's a lot sexier than most shirts that I wear. Um, I felt a little bondage uh, esque, <laughs> like a bondage chic, um, with all the mesh up here and like the the caging around the breast. Um, I was like, woo! You know, like, I felt like really wild in the shirt. Uh, I'm going to Vegas next week, so I'm thinking I'm going to bring that little puppy, wear it with some jeans and some heels, you know, kind of like a, you know, a man eater kind of thing uh, vibe. I thought it was really pretty. I liked the way the arms looked. I thought it was very flattering. Um, I do, I really like the shirt. Uh, let me throw this in real quick. Um, you're only getting to get like a little peek at this. Um, this is a bathing suit I ordered because I'm going to Florida in December. So um, I got this really cute tankini and a little bottom. No, you're not getting a full body shot because that's not how I roll on this channel. But um, <laughs> I'll show you a little, a little, a little peek. Uh, it's really cute. Uh, the quality is totally decent and it gave me a nice full coverage. Uh, I didn't feel like the bathing suit was going to rip or anything like that. You know, sometimes you can get bathing suits that just feel really cheap. That doesn't feel really cheap. And I liked the ruffles around the breast. I thought it was really, really cute. I got this in a 3X. I really, I really like these little ruffly details. I thought it was pretty. So this next shirt was super, like, I, I, I did a risk. Like, I took a risk by getting this shirt. Um, it was a one size. <laughs> this is a one size fits all shirt. And I was like, all right, that looks pretty big. I bet you I could rock it. So it's this blush colored sweater with these really fun little ruffles. I mean, it's one of those shirts where I was like, all right, I got to make this work. It looked really cute. Um, like I said, I wear a size 14 and this is one size, the sweater, and it fits me. Um, you'll see it here. I did pair it with my high-waisted jeans. Again, not a fan of showing the midriff. Um, it's not even like if I'm standing, like if I'm standing there wearing a midriff, like I don't... I don't feel uncomfortable that way, but it's like if I sit down and like my belly pooches out, like that's when I'm like, uh, why am I showing my midriff? Like, oh, okay. But anyway, um, I thought this sweater was really cute and I thought it was awesome. So I have really big boobs, like I wear a 38 triple D and I wear a size 14 and that sure fit me, so you know. This next thing I'm absolutely in love with. This is kind of just a high-low, off-the-shoulder slash cow neck slash dress slash shirt. I don't know. It's this beautiful port wine color. I love this color, you guys. Like, I think it's so, so pretty. And it's a high-low, so it's short in the front and longer in the back. You could definitely rock this as a dress. Um, the material's a little bit thin, so this time of year, I don't think it would be a great idea. You can pair it with leggings and tall boots. When I wore this, um, not when I'm trying it on, but when I wore this, I wore this with um, black leggings and black boots, and it looked really super cute you just have to make sure you use static guard because that little puppy got some static on it and it was like clinging and like nobody likes clinging well I don't like clinging because I think I felt self-conscious about the clinging anyway <laughs> I thought this was really really super and I did get this in a three neck shirt was so cute in theory unfortunately it did not fit me very well it's a um, kind of asymmetrical button-down shirt and it has a super cute belt with it 
that matches the fabric, right? And this looks like arms, like the arms to the shirt, but it's a belt, and then it's a button-down shirt. Now, one side, come, uh, one side comes down a little bit more than the other side. Unfortunately, like I said, this shirt was kind of ill-fitting on me. The arms were so tight, my arms were getting choked, and the buttons were a little bit too far apart, and, um, you know, like maybe if I wore... Um, a tank top underneath it and I lost some weight in my arms like this shirt would work for me but unfortunately not really working for me this shirt um, it was really cute in theory but it, it was just it wasn't working and I did also get that shirt in a three uh, this next shirt is super super adorable unfortunately it is not the right time of year for it uh, this is a really beautiful looks like a pemblum top um, I loved the fabric on this it has this cute little button closure which I might actually sew close because I'm scared of it popping open but um, it's super super cute I thought it was pretty it has these like flousy like bouncy kind of sleeves which I loved and it had a tight closure which you could use in the front or the back I thought it was really really pretty and flattering um, I got this in a US size 18 again I had to size up two sizes sizes. Um, I probably could have sized down on that. Um, I probably could have sized down to like a 16 in that. Um, really pretty though. I really, I, I love favorite, that. Favorite, favorite like this. I love a v-neck. I think it's really flattering around the breast area. It's got this really cute stripe detail on the top and bottom of the sweater. Um, it comes below my butt. Unfortunately, this sweater is just a little bit too tight. It does fit. But I like my sweaters like big, you know, like I like them really big and loose and flowy. This one hugs me. So, I mean, it fits me, but it makes me feel a little uncomfortable because it's so tight. It's just my pre preference, you know, it's not the way I like things to fit. Um, it's a pretty knit, I, I just, I think this is such a great sweater and it's super high quality. Um, again, it's just a little bit tight. Maybe if I lost a couple pounds, when I'm losing a couple pounds, it might fit me to bed up. The last thing I'm going to show you is this. I paired this with the one size sweater. This is so out of my comfort zone, you guys, but I saw it and I thought it was really cute. This is a pleather, um, is it pleather? I don't know what it is. It's a uh, asymmetrical um, skirts. It's really super cute. It's got a functional zipper like you know like it's a real zipper it zips all the way out this is in a US size 16 um, it's really cute I am NOT pairing it with any shapewear so you can kind of see my belly a little bit which I wasn't a fan of but if I wear shapewear and I could pair this with the right the right shirt I think it's gonna look great I'm gonna bring it to Las Vegas with me wear some black fishnet tights maybe some knee-high boots you know slut it up for the night <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I think that would be great. Um, I think it's a really high quality skirt too. Like it's 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 like hardy. You know what I mean? It's super hardy. So um, that's it. That's my entire Zaffle haul for you guys. Uh, I'm going to link everything below. It's not affiliate links or anything like that. You know, like I'm not getting any commission off this. But um, I will link everything below. They are having some great Black Friday sales. So if you want to go shopping today on Zaffle's website, I will link all that below for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time bye guys